guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would show you an updated everyday makeup look. So I have already prepped my skin off camera. I use the Simple Moisturiser. This is the Replen Replenishing Rich Moisturiser. I then went in with my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I used this MAC Strobe Cream because I was testing it out and it makes my skin look really good. I then, <laughs> this is a lot of products, but I like to use this much on my everyday because it keeps it on and just makes it look nicer. And then I went in with my Baby Skin Primer from Maybelline. And finally, this looks a bit wanky, but my Urban Decay Quick Fix Spray. So that is all on my for now. Let's get on to the rest of it. So I've just bought a new foundation. I've got the Huda Beauty Hashtag Faux Filter Foundation. This is in the shade Shortbread. And all I do is I use this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It's a little bit broken because it's a little bit old. I think I got a dodgy one when I bought it. So all I do is I literally take one pump of this. And if I need any more, I obviously pump some more out, but I want to take one pump and then take my brush, dip it in, and I just buff it into my skin. This way it gives like a um, more natural coverage. I don't realize I've got a mirror. It gives a more natural coverage and it looks less cakey, but this coverage on this foundation is amazing. I'm going to take another one more pump and that should do the rest of my face. And because this brush is a little bit broken I have to use a sponge to blend it out so I'll do that in a minute. So once it's all on I use a sponge and that also helps to create that natural coverage as well. So I'm really liking this at the moment because everyone knows I love full coverage. So this is still quite full coverage. It just doesn't look as cakey because I'm not putting as much product on my brush as I would my sponge. So just kind of buff it all in. And then with what I've got left on my hand and my sponge, I just go over everything just to get rid of any streakiness because this brush really isn't very well <laughs> so I just do this get into the corners of my eyes I also really want to say to you guys, I'm so grateful that I'm now, it doesn't sound like a big milestone, but for me, this is a massive milestone. I'm now at over 30 subscribers and I feel so blessed that people actually watch my videos. Because when I first started this channel, I didn't think anyone would actually want to watch my videos. And I thought I'd just sort of see in the background and I might get a couple of views on a video, but I'm over a thousand and five people viewed my videos, so and then 33 of you have subscribed and I love you so much, thank you so this is all blended in and if you look at my skin it just looks dewy and very natural so I'm now going to do my eyebrows off camera because it's eyebrows you can do your eyebrows however you want to do your eyebrows if you want to see a video on my eyebrows like an updated one um, if you just let me know in the comments below and I will see if I can do one for you so we're back in. So now I've done my eyebrows. I really like them quite thin with my natural makeup. So I'm going to carve them out with my new Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. Uh, this is in Fair Neutral. So I'm just going to take a bit of this on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take my flat top brush. That looks like this. 
And I'm just gonna carve out my eyebrows to try and just keep them nice and neat because even though it's a natural makeup, I still like quite neat eyebrows. Now I'm going to use my sponge and beauty blender. I can't that's cause it's sponge anymore, beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend this all out. My best friend Frankie did my eyebrows yesterday and I thought they looked amazing. And she knows it's the same thing that I do. This one looks so much worse than this one. And yes, I have got my nails done, and they look really funky. So I only bought these products, I received them yesterday. So I tried them out for the first time yesterday because I wanted to see, because I prefer to do, so when I do those first impressions, I feel like you don't get the right impression because I'm like, oh, this is a really good product. And then about a week later, I'm like, mm, it's not as good as I expected or as good as I thought it was. So I've started doing more of like a um, review. So I've tried out the products and then I would re review them later. If you like that sort of style, then let me know. Or if you like a first impressions, let me know also. So next thing is to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer again and just go under the eyes. It's a very thick concealer. So I'm just gonna go under the eyes. And this is quite a lot lighter than my actual foundation. So I really like that. And I know everyone says, you should only go like one shade lighter. I like it like this because I just feel like it highlights my face a lot more. I'm gonna take out these stupid lines because I hate those lines and my chin. And I'm gonna use a sponge for this because I did use a brush and I just feel like it just moves it around too much. So just using a sponge to lightly blend it in. And obviously, as it with like nearly every single one of my videos, I will link all these products down below so you can go and buy them or see what you think of them. see that it's just like cancelled out my under eye bags which is so good because I hate those bags especially when you don't get any sleep so this concealer is amazing for that like the bags just disappear and it also again looks quite natural so it doesn't look as cakey as some of my other looks just gonna blend it I always like to really blend it in because I feel like it's not blended, it also doesn't look very natural. Okay, so I'm going to take my usual powder, which is my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Um, so I've ordered some new brushes, so I'm just waiting for them to arrive. So hopefully this would look a bit better with some other brushes because some of my brushes I've got are really like big and bulky. Like my powder brush is a bit a bit big for this look. So I just want the powder under my eyes and on my eyelids. And kind of just do my T-zone. So under my eyes. Really get under there and on my nose and like my forehead. And right my chin. Like 
so so this look is actually quite quick compared to what i used to do so it used to take me like 20 minutes just to blend out my foundation and you guys never saw that because i used to like speed everything up and cut this out and things so that's that bit so i'm gonna go in with my urban decay all nighter pollution protection spray i'm gonna spray this all over my face This just locks everything in place and I'm just going to fan it out. So that's that. So next I am obsessed with highlighters. So I've been looking around for a new highlighter and I saw this one on Selfridges when I was ordering all my other products because I typed in highlighter. And a really expensive one, so I was like, mm. So I went for the MAC one. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And it just looks like this. It is a beautiful highlighter. Let me give you a swatch. So if I look to my hand, it just looks, it just, it just shines. And I just think it looks amazing. So I take my fluffy brush so I'm going to take quite a bit of this and a bit of my setting spray and I always go back in because otherwise I end up making my brush too wet and it takes off my foundation and stuff like so and it's quite like a subtle natural highlight it's not like a blinding highlight but it is still gorgeous it's got kind of like a bronzy undertone which kind of makes it look amazing so as you guys know I've been using my MAC eyeshadow as a highlighter now I don't have to do that anymore. So just use my finger and just sort of blend it all in. So this is what the highlighter looks like. I just feel like it gives me like a natural glow to my skin, which I feel like is amazing. So then I go in with my contour, which is kind of like a backwards way of doing it, because everyone does contour then highlight and I don't know why I do it this way but I just do so I'm going to use my Tarte Don't Be Afraid to Dazzle contour and we're nearly done like this is this is my everyday look so it's really quick and simple so I just take this colour and I just I press it on the bottom part of my cheek always use my powder brush just to sort of buff it in a bit more like so so I also have stopped wearing lipstick a bit for my everyday what I do is I wipe off the foundation a bit, a bit much. I wipe off my foundation and then I take my Vaseline, my aloe vera. This is my aloe vera. So it's my aloe vera. Oh my god, I can't get to focus. So this is my aloe vera lip balm. So I just put some of this on. my lips that glossy look like so 
Next, I'm going to do my eyelashes. The camera just cut out, so I'm going to do this off camera. I'm going to do my mascara off camera, and I'll be back to show you the finished look. So guys, this is my finished everyday makeup look. I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. So this is what it looks like in the end. It looks, I feel like it looks very natural. <coughs> Sorry, my voice. Very natural and very dewy and not as matte as my usual looks and not as heavy. So I'll give you a close up. But the thing is my skin still looks flawless and how I'd like it to look. It's just using a lot less product and it takes a lot less time than my other looks. So if you did enjoy today's video guys, don't forget to give a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below. Comment any other videos you want me to do and let me know how you are, how you're all doing. And again, another massive thank you for getting me to over 30 subscribers. I'm so happy and it just spurs me on to make more videos. And so that is the end of today's video and I will see you next time. Bye guys!